in conversation with Ankur Jain, who is the managing director for Media Tech in India at IMC 2025. Ankur, welcome to Tech 360. By Thank the you so way. much. Thank you so much. Yeah, very, very so, glad to be here. So, Bill, let's start with two things. Okay. One, yeah. having these grand events like IMC 2025, they're very important, right? And secondly, having presence like this at the, such a grand scale, that's also important. Yeah, actually, uh, it is uh, very important, you know, because uh, it, it brings all the stakeholders in under one roof. So one can see the buzz around us. And I think uh, it kind of uh, pushes you and makes you believe that you're doing the right thing. Correct. You know, because, uh, you know, we have been working very, very hard on various chipset designs. And uh, when you come to such an event, uh, you actually feel more confident, more, uh, you know, and uh, more better that uh, you know, India is happening. And uh, there's a very exciting phase for the India for the next few years. So that, I think that sense uh, one can get from here. You can also keep a look at competitors because all of their stalls are also around. Yeah, that, that could be also true. Yeah. <laughs> but that's a good dialogue on collaborations, uh -huh. right? Industry collaborations as well. Yeah, I think uh, if you see uh, if you see the overall ecosystem building up in India, uh, it has been, uh, it has built, you know, picked up a lot of momentum in the last uh, few years. And if you see Make in India, uh, you know, initiative, and you can see the fabs coming up, yeah. and ATMP, OSAT, etc. I think that all that ecosystem is has been really building up uh, quite uh, rapidly and a lot of substance there, right? I think that that shows the kind of uh, importance that the government of India plays, uh, you know, uh, puts on uh, this uh, sector. And uh, although Miatek is a fabulous design company, so we design chipsets for several verticals like smartphones, smart TVs, outdoors connectivity, etc. But I think overall this ecosystem build up is also very exciting for us because it's kind, it is kind of showing the uh, you know, the, that more and more it is important and it, more and more traction can happen in the future. I have a follow-up IMC question, but then I'll take follow-ups from others. Sure. There's a lot of 6G, 6G, 6G yeah. going on here. Mm -hmm. So that's at the back of your mind? Well, yeah, 6G it is. You know, if you see globally, uh, 6G uh, has been, standard has been coming up for the last two years. Although we have been talking it uh, recently, but mm -hmm. uh, it is something which, which is, you know, every every uh, every decade there's a new generation. Correct. So, uh, and uh, Miatek is already working on it for the last uh, several years actually, because it takes a long time for R&D to make it happen. Uh, I think we'll see 6G out in uh, maybe next four five years. Sure. But we have to put a lot of effort, R&D effort into it already. And when we see uh, 6G, 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 as you said, uh, I think it is a good way to, uh, uh, I think it's a good initiative by the government again. I think they they have to uh, show that it is important. And that kind of, uh, you know, makes, uh, pushes the industry to take the, uh, to go in that direction. So I think the direction from uh, the government is very, very important in that sense. Correct. And uh, of course, uh, for 5G, India was a follower. And for 6G, I think we will be the front runner. And that's a very proud feeling. There's this thing that I always wanted to ask someone who makes hardware as well. Yeah. Do you think finally it's time that hardware is catching up to software now? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Because, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I think India has been a software powerhouse for, for many, many decades. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but for, even for hardware design, uh, you would be surprised to know that 20% of the global talent is in India, right? Yeah, yeah that, that's quite, quite a mind-blowing number. Correct. So the talent is here. But now I think what has happened is that uh, uh, it is also something that how can we use the talent to make make in India, uh, yeah. you know, story, right? So that is something which has changed. So talent is not a problem, uh, but I think uh, the initiative is, uh, was kind of lacking earlier. Yeah. So uh, so now when we see uh, all these fabs and you know all these uh, electronic product, you know, products coming up, uh, that's uh, that's something uh, shows that India is really catching up now. Let's also talk about the chipset that you were showed us, yeah. the flagship so called. Let's just quickly take a oh, yeah, run sure. on it. Yeah. yeah. So, so I think you've got the bits already, but uh -huh. uh, but yeah, Demonstrate 9500 is the uh, latest and greatest chipset that we have launched. And uh, it is, uh, you know, it is uh, is great in multiple senses. I think if you see from the end user benefits, one thing which is stands out is that uh, it is able to provide console level gaming True. for the end user. Mm -hmm. That is, uh, you know, uh, it can have 60 FPS uh, continuous and sustained. With, sustained with ray tracing kind of uh, features, uh, which re really need a lot of computing power. And uh, that, uh, you know, it has, it is actually able to give a seamless user experience for the end user. So that gaming is uh, next next level. Yeah. And uh, and of course, all this is due to the processor itself. You know, we have the next generation of uh, CPU uh, and NPU and, and GPU. So the ne next level of all these three components is able to make it happen. The second is about the agentic AI. So I think AI is all around us. And uh, this chipset is able to support faster inference and, you know, uh, and more uh, more capability for, from the AI point of view and you know inferring the AI models. So that is a one big sea, sea change again. Uh, so these two aspects really stand out. Uh, but apart from that, of course, it's a phenomenal chipset. And I think we'll see that once uh, you know uh, phone based on the chipset launches. So one doubt that I have is uh, when 
a particular hardware caters to let's say a gaming enthusiast yeah should the end consumer also take it like this that ultimately that technology that high performance will trickle down to everyone else down the budget chain as well i think that is something uh, definitely it happens we have seen in the last uh, several years that something which is uh, in a flagship phone or a expensive phone i think it trickles down slowly and steadily as as that technology gets democratized so we will see uh, uh, you know such such features uh, being you know being available in other chipsets as well uh, so we have a uh, you know entire range of chipsets yeah. from mainstream to premium to flagship and uh, so suddenly some of these features will trickle down over time uh, that's what happens uh, long, that's what we have to observe yeah so when you talk about all these technologies trickling down do you look at it as connecting everybody across the broad or do you look at it elevating the experience the life experience overall of a certain strat of people and then bringing everyone on the same boat so uh, i think that's uh, it's both of that you know uh, you know we want yeah. to actually first of all give premium experience to the flagship users and of course you know when we when a new chip set comes out it is uh, it has it is very r and d intensive so as an example uh, last year we spent about uh, 4.1 billion dollars yeah. in r and d yeah, yeah. you know for the globally and so it is very r and d intensive so the chipsets are uh, you know the flagship chipsets cost more but True. slowly and suddenly i think uh, some of those features go in, go into the you know the lesser chipsets because i know you're very busy so i'll have to make this one my absolute last yeah. question but then give me a global and india perspective to mm -hmm. both of these you are media tech right yeah. you make both sort of chipsets you make those flagships and then you make those budget chipsets yes. as well mm -hmm. um there is going to be a difference in scale there is going to be a difference in volume as well right. so there's a thin fine line between deciding which one to make first yeah. and which one to boost i mean i'm not even sure if that's a thin fine line but what are your comments on the scenario so actually you know uh, what we have seen is our main aim is to democratize uh, the right. connectivity right? right i think uh, having a smartphone is kind of a basic requirement these days right. so so we want to cater to all segments of society, society. and that's why we want to continue to have uh, uh, all the segments right like mainstream i mentioned which is the entry level and uh, the premium segment and the flagship i think we have to we will continue to have all the three uh, parts uh, in the portfolio because i feel that is the only way that uh, we can have more and more people enjoy the technology right and i think that is really empowering them uh, to 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 be connected so i think we will continue to do both all can, three yeah. we can call this media text india story i think so yeah Right. That's it. This is Media Tech <laughs> India story. Thank you so much for your time. I'm just such a pleasure Thank having you. you. Same here. Thank you.